my name is Alan Hart and today uh, today's video is a request so I did my video yesterday with the Wiesman boiler where I stripped it down and I was asked if I could strip this valent boiler down here so so that's what I'm gonna do so we'll strip this down and it's just gonna be a quick run through this really um, I've not got a lot of time today because I'm going out with kids in a bit um, but uh, first of all we've got a screw just under here to take the case off and I, as always if you're going to take a case off a boiler you must be gas safe registered so anybody who works on gas boilers must be gas safe registered so these videos are designed for if you've just qualified and you you haven't seen inside some of these boilers then these are what these videos are aimed at, at you really and what I would say to you is as well is try and go on as many of the manufacturers training days as you can so most of the manufacturers will give you free training days now then training days are a bit sales um, sort of training but but they do tell you all about the boilers and a lot of time they'll tell you about the faults with boilers so ideal do good training Baxi does really good training um, all the manufacturers really, Wiesman, Valen, go on the training courses, they're free and they will really give you that help and understanding of the boilers. So let's have a look at this now and we'll take the case off. Now bear in mind this is an old boiler so the condition of this boiler inside is um, is not very good but it's, it's a demo video just to show you how you would strip it down. So as I say, screwdriver underneath here so you can use a flathead or you can use a posi on these and then what it's got is you undo that undo that screw under there and then it's got two clips just here what you just push up and then case just lifts off i'll show you that now so you just see there we've just got us screw slot we just undo that screw there and then it's also got two physical clips one there and one on that side so just here and here and then all you do push them clips up and then the front cover will come off now as i say with this boiler it's an old boiler the clips and bits and bats inside are damaged um, so the flap is just going to fall down so just before i take this case off here we can see with this the graphite seal has been installed so many years ago maybe 10 years or so Fairland had a big problem with the seals on these boilers and the seals leaked and sometimes they set the inside of the boiler on fire in very rare occurrences so with these old ones just make sure that it's had the seals changed and and to be honest you should have changed seals anyway if you're going to disturb the burner on these now anyway so that's just something to look out for so if we have a look inside this we've got the heat exchanger which is a stainless steel heat exchanger that's his burner body we've got his fan we've got his pump we've got his plate heat exchanger there PRV on front there as well expansion vessel easy to get to so if we need to top up expansion vessel we can just do that on there so that's easy uh, this had a little problem with the flow seals so I don't know if you can see there but the flow had been leaking on this one so if we're going to take out this plate heat exchanger on this Obviously this boiler is totally drained down so there's no water in it so you'd have to isolate the boiler and you've just got four screws so there's one there, I don't know if you can see that, one there, one there and then same on this side just there and there and then this this will just easily just pull out then. So as boilers go these are very easy to work on, you see how easy that plate comes out. You don't have to take anything else out in the boiler and you can just easily get the plate out. So 
So then obviously if you're going to put a new plate in this or if you've cleaned this plate out, you would check these seals in here. So these seals here. And always try and put new seals in if you can. So if we was going to take the burner door off this for a service, we just need to take off this silencer here and then disconnect all the wires off this and obviously turn your gas off and disconnect your gas so you can pull all this burner out in one. Very, very easy to do. So there's just one screw here to get the silencer, take the silencer off. So we'll do that now. So once you've taken the screw out of the silencer, the silencer can just lift forward and just pull off. Very easy. I'm just going to put that screw back in there just so we don't lose the screw. So we've got a 10mm socket just to slacken these nuts off on this a bit. And then I normally disconnect it from here just so it's easier just to lift out and just totally take it out where. So that's inside your heat exchanger. So that's the burner and this is the seal I was talking about earlier, just there. So you need to make sure that's been changed. So when we look at this, you've got your spark electrodes there. And then you've got your fan there. So that all comes out as one unit. So if you have any problems with circulation in these boilers, it might be worth just checking these rubber hoses in here. They sometimes block up. I believe they'll do a replacement kit. And I think you can change these to copper. I'm not sure. I've never I've never actually done one myself. Um, but I do believe you can get a, a copper uh, replacement for that. So we've got auto air vent just here. If you need to change that, there's just a clip, just a clip there. So it's a bit hard. But just pull that clip, pull that clip forward, and then you can just pull this, pull this out. So you just get grips on this, waggle it out about a bit, and then you can just get that out of there. So that's your auto air vent, just a back at pump there. So I might as well have a quick look inside this hose while we're doing this. To, they do tend to block up a bit on hoses. Don't know if you can see in there. Quite a lot of muck in that. So if you needed to remove the expansion vessel on this, there's just a nut at the bottom, on the bottom of the expansion vessel, and then there's just some screws at the top up here, and then that bracket there will just come forward, and you can just pull that out. 
if you needed to change it. Most of the parts in this boiler are very easy to work on and service. It's, it's easy to strip down and clean as you can see and, and all in all they're, they're a very good boiler. They, they were really good in the time. Obviously it's an old boiler now. Um, this is 12, 14 year old, something like that and, it, and it's done well. I know it looks a bit tired now but it's an old boiler that hasn't been looked after very well in that time so you can't you can't blend the boiler for that um, this video has been a bit rushed as I say I've got to go out so um, if you've got any questions please add them in comments below and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch these videos thank you